Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode 22 of KMA's Jams. Just another Minecraft series, that's right. And unfortunately, I don't know if you've heard, I had a little complication, and I will explain that later on in the video, but basically yesterday I recorded my takes of everything that I had done for the day, minus a couple of things that were going to be um, sneak peeks into future projects that you do not need to know about just yet. But here's a little time capsule of what happened yesterday minus those little segments with narration over them. Hope you enjoy. So I started off the day just digging because I thought it would be good to get some of my resources back up and what better way to do that than doing it with clay because I wanted to take down the imp um, the water temple on camera and I knew I wasn't going to record. I said, and I thought to myself, screw that. I'm going to take down this temple and just do the speed up of it. And that's kind of what we're doing here. I've already taken down a bunch of the temple already <clears throat> and I'm just speeding up the footage. And it's kind of interesting to see what it's like to take down the temple. But what I need to really tell you about is why I'm not recording and, um, doing the gameplay at the same time is I had a gallbladder attack um, it's been something I guess my body's been fighting for a while and I just did not know it and the severity of it wasn't as um, I didn't think I had the thing in the, to begin with but I guess the severity of it was um, worse than normal so they needed to take out my gallbladder and it was borderline full type surgery instead of larthoscopic um, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to recover than the normal person who has the same surgery. And that means I'm going to be out of work for a long time. <clears throat> and I'm also on a lot of pain meds. And I didn't really want to record yesterday, you know, having to think about talking while I recorded. But I wanted to get a lot done in my world. So that's why I started trying to collect clay because it's something I knew I had to do. And I figured I get... Uh, about a double chest of those three colors of clay and then another double chest of the red clay and see where we go from there. But then I decided I'm just going to take down this water temple. It's just the next thing that in this world that I needed to do. So here it is. And um, so I just recorded it and figured I can do a montage or audio over it after the fact. Um... So, with the surgery, I'm going to be out six to eight weeks from work, um, which will allow me to focus a little bit more on YouTube. The amount of videos is not going to increase. Um, it's going to be just basically one video at the beginning of the week, normally on Monday. But I don't want to set up a schedule because, honestly, if I'm um, not doing this for a living, it's kind of on my own schedule, but if I were to start doing this seriously to make money and stuff, I would definitely make a schedule for you guys. But I just wanted to um, stick with the Monday or Tuesday if I'm having trouble making the video or have lack of time. And that's what I'm going to do for the next six to eight weeks, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to make more than one vid video a week. I'm just going to keep them on the back burner and release them as time goes on. Um, and I keep jumping around because my head ain't thinking clear right now uh, and using English properly. So I keep going back and forth from making videos to my health. But basically, my health, long story short, I got the gallbladder removed from my body. I can't really eat any fatty foods. Uh, three, uh, three grams of fat is the limit. Um, and I gotta go back to tell you what's going on in this video now. My pickaxe, which is my silk touch, has mending on it. And I showed you when I caught that. Actually, no, I had to edit that video because the audio was bad. But I have mending on all my tools except for my diamond uh, normal axe there. And what happens is if you're holding mending in the tool with mending in your hands and you get XP, the XP goes into the mending of that tool. So my diamond efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 diamond pickaxe that happens to have silk touch, which is my work to, um, pick, 
has completely run out of durability, so I'm going to my blaze farm to go farm some blazes so I can put the XP onto this pick and continue um, working. So I did a little time lapse here and I'm going to show you uh, in normal speed here how the blaze farm works. You let the blazes go down and you cl click this crusher and run away because it's so loud and annoying. And to make sure I have that pickaxe and you see the durability is like 38. I can't really tell with my screen right now. But it's very low, um, you know, under 100 or 1500 that's possible. You hit it a couple of times and you see the thing has gone up to 50 something. So I just stay here and get all the XP with the pickaxe in my hand and this XP, instead of going into my enchantment bar, XP bar, it's still staying at 23, it's going into the pickaxe and already it's up high. So it doesn't take long um, from a worn out pickaxe so you can get it back into normal health at this XP farm which is an okay one, it's not a great one, um, in about 20 to 30 minutes. So getting mending on your tools will make it the last tool you ever need. So what I have is my work pick, which is normally not silk touch, but I do have silk touch on this one, and my fortune pick, and both of them have mending. So I'll never need another pick for the rest of the time unless I end up dying in lava, which, God forbid, I hope I never do because I will be mightily upset. But my other project that I'm working on in the background We'll fix that problem just in case I do lose these awesome mother effin' picks. And yes, they deserve the mother effin' title next to them because they are that good. So I'm going to go and farm some more of these blazes and get my pick to 100% so I can go take down mm, the rest of the water temple. So here I go, finishing up. And one thing, my pick is all the way up, but notice this, I'm going to use my sword. And now with 1.9, you hit the sword, all the things are down to like 0.1 health. And I forgot to close the bar, so one straggler got in there. They'll all die with one hit, other than that straggler. You see that? I just killed, I don't know, most of them in there, other than that straggler, because that guy got in there by accident. So once you do the crusher on this thing, you hit him with your sword and 1.9 and it has that sweep attack and it will get them all in one shot and it's overwhelming the amount of xp you can get from one shot with that sword and plus it's a looting three sword and that will do you know amazing things for you so now i am back on my way to the guardian farm or what will be the guardian farm so <laughs> with this time of running through my long nether tunnels I will tell you that my gallbladder is out I can't eat fatty foods anymore three grams of fat is my diet limitation right now and so to say in my first two days out of the hospital or three days I lost seven pounds so my body's gonna take a little bit of getting used to this but after a couple of weeks I can start eating fatty foods again but it's definitely something I have to keep an eye on because the gallbladder does kind of limit your, I love this, do, 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 limit the amount of fat, um, you know, the way fat is stored in your body. And now this is the very last blocks I have to destroy from the temple um, to start converting it over to a farm. And I was thinking when I was doing this that I was going to leave the bottom floor there as a place for the guardians to land. But since then I've done some research and I realized I got to dig out another 20 blocks below where I am, I believe, for the fall damage to actually take effect. It has to be like 34 blocks from the top. But I am super psyched about finishing this. And I really, really wanted to finish this yesterday and just get this out of the way because this... Guardian Farm project is a pain in the butt. It's very tedious. It's it's something that you can't really do unless you really love this game. And I really love this game. So you know what? Take a screenshot and go, yay, congratulate me for actually draining and taking away this building, mother effa. Again with a mother effa. I'm just happy to get this done with. So, so since the water temple has been finished I decided to go get some more clay 
and try and get double chests of all the colors that I have out here in the Mesa. And, you know, continue the grind part of Minecraft. And because I do need to make the nether tunnel all the way from this Mesa to where I go. And, um... So I'm going to be utilizing a lot of clay, and I don't really know what color clays I'm going to utilize, but it would be nice to have a double chest of all the different colors. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting the red right now, and it's kind of funny because uh, one of the more unfortunate moments of my gameplay so far in KMA's Jams is about to happen. I go up here and I check on a chest after it gets morning and guess what happens that's right I didn't look around to see if there was any creepers around I knew it was just morning time so guess what I slept at the water temple let's go running back to the mesa which is actually right next door to the water temple you'll see it's just that distance even though that distance is about 1200 blocks away from base through the nether it's real close out here so I get my stuff and I put everything into the chest and recover from the creeper blast just like I am gonna recover from this issue with my gallbladder I'm just gonna have to learn how to eat better which is too bad because you are taught I am somebody who was over 400 pounds at some point in his life so you know I have trouble eating or putting down the food so to say but I do know it's a problem and I have been losing weight for a little while and I always seem unsure when I uh, get blown up like that and I decided to check at the bottom of this hill uh, hole just to make sure none of my items had gone down there so it would have sucked to have forgotten that I had like the diamond shovel with the efficiency 5 on it and silk touch and it was you know and it despawned at the bottom of a hole so now that I got all that clay I decided you know it's time for me to basically go to sleep and I am gonna head back to my base because it's been a long day of playing Minecraft it was like um, an 8 or 12 hour day and I didn't show you everything that I did because there were some things that I worked on for a two three hour span mind you in the middle of this day that I didn't even show you a clip of because I kind of want it kept secret until the videos come out. And I hint at it at the outro because I've already recorded the outro to this video. Um, but you will see here about some projects that are coming up um, in the near future. The next three videos or so, the uh, world is going to really increase a lot. Now that you got to see all those projects that I did yesterday. Um... You understand uh, that I'm going to be doing lots of time and work on this world until I become healthy again. So this world will progress pretty fast and um, stay along for the ride. It should be interesting. I've been hanging out with Olaf, watching the films as you have. And um, yeah, there's some, you know, monotony to the game. But right now I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. But, things that I did not show in the video. Can we see it from here? No, we cannot. The secret will stay, will stay a secret. I made um, some breeding stuff, and I also made some iron stuff, and I also made some fishing stuff. In the next couple of episodes, I will reveal those to you. I hope you enjoy. Please remember, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends about me, as um, I could use all the support I can as I'm recovering from the surgery. So, thanks again for everything. Have a great day. This is Keith for Game Ace Corner. I hope you enjoyed the show. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>